Sure. How would a President Ron Paul work with, with Ben Bernanke? Because, you know, as critical as you've been, you'd be, you guys would be stuck working together if you were elected Congressman Paul, wouldn't you be? I mean, he's, uh, yeah, but he's the chairman. In theory, in theory, I thought the Fed was supposed to be independent. That's what they argue all the time. Mm -hmm. Of course, the President always works with them. I mean, and it isn't Bernanke himself that is the problem. It is the system. It's the system that you have no restraints on monetary authority, which means you have no restraints on spending, because the, the Congress does not have to be responsible. So in a way, Bernanke was a, a somewhat correct the other day. And he says, I had thrown up my hands. I can't do anything more. It's all up to the Congress. But he could do a lot more. Congress should quit spending, and then they don't put the pressure on the Fed to monetize. But if the Federal Reserve was not allowed to monetize, the Congress would see the interest rates rising, and there would be an automatic check on it. So, uh, you know, Bernanke, uh, you're not supposed to run the Federal Reserve. Of course, in, uh, that is all a farce. They complain. They, they always argue that they're independent. But it's a system that you have to address, and someday we'll have to, not because all of a sudden people will gain wisdom, but it's, this system is uh, on its last legs. This, the dollar reserve standard of the world is failing, and that's why the world is in chaos. All right, let me ask you a little bit about the campaign then. You done, um, you know, had success certainly in Iowa in the, in, in the straw poll, and we were talking earlier about how you've moved up in some of the other polls. The, it'll be interesting to see, and we talk about this all the time, how the campaign develops over time. People always try to make it into top tier and bottom, all this, you know, all this kind of handicapping so early in the race. But how do you see it developing? Because inevitably somebody's going to drop out, of, you know, that already happened with Tim Pawlenty and... And as that happens, do supporters of certain candidates go to you? Or is this theory that some have thrown out there correct that the supporters that Ron Paul is going to get already support him? He has such a strong base of support. But will, how will you be able to expand upon that base? All I know is my job is to keep doing what I've been doing for 30 years. And all of a sudden there's been a surge of interest in what I've been doing. And there's a, certainly a need. The people are tired of the wars. They know there's something wrong with the Federal Reserve. They know the spending is a tremendous hazard to us. So people are coming over. And the one thing that all the polls show is if you are a Ron Paul supporter, you usually don't leave. So there's no bouncing up and down. And right. the other ones, you know, there's a lot of shifting around. So when new people enter the race, they say, oh, what's it going to do to you? Well, it doesn't do anything to me. It just dilutes the other field. But I think we have steady growth. That's about all I can say. And it's been that way. Uh, over many years, and certainly over the last four years, uh, we have seen this uh, happening. Well, let me follow up on that point, because you're probably right about that in terms of you're not losing support. So let's say Rick Perry enters the race, or whoever might um, still make a late entry into the race. You don't necessarily lose any of your core supporters there, but when someone leaves the race, are you able to have, kind of broaden the scope enough or be attractive to people who don't currently support you and may support somebody else who's still running but will at some point drop out? For example, a Palenti supporter coming to yeah. you. Do you see enough oh, of that? Or will oh, yeah, you be able I, to do enough of that? Oh, I, well, it remains to be seen. But, yes, we see it all the time because uh, that's where our growth would have to come from. Uh, so... Uh, but I don't know if anybody can actually measure that, but uh, no, we're always uh, reaching out to people, and, uh, and, 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 and the, the longer the time goes on, the more appropriate our view seems to be. All right, Congressman Paul, it was good to talk to you again, and we'll, we'll check back okay. as the campaign continues. Sure Thanks thing. for coming on. Bye. Congressman Ron Paul running for president on the Republican side. Cong